It's there on the screen. Verse 10 says, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. You may be seated. I'm going to continue to read here. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called on circumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh, made by hands, that at the time you were without Christ, being aliens, there's that word again, from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and broken down the middle wall partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity or hostility, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enemy thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were far off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens, but the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles, prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, and whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, and whom ye also are building together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. And so this morning, with God's help, <coughs> I'm going to try to leave this thought with you. Earthquake... Proof. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Earthquake proof. Amen. I know we're not in the state of California, yeah. but there are building codes in place to try to protect that which is built, to stand against outside forces that may come and try to destroy the thing that you have built. All right. And so I want to try to really break this down if I could because I don't want you to forget that together we are a building. Amen. It's not so much the physical building as it is a spiritual building. Yes. And so we have to build according to codes. Amen. It's not so much a building code of the world but it is a building code according to God. Amen. He has an ordinance in which we are to build our life upon. Amen. He says we are to build it upon the apostles, the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief corner stone. And so there's some things that are happening that I didn't realize as much until recently. There was a vote in Britain to leave the United States. Excuse me, the European Union. Yeah, all right. When that began to take place, we saw a lot of chaos happen in Britain. Uh -huh. My wife and I were talking about this and we began to realize, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something spiritual about this. Uh -huh. There's something happening in the world. We are no longer preparing for the earthquake. All right. God said whatever can be shaken would be shaken. Yes. So those things that cannot be shaken would remain. Amen. So we shouldn't think it odd that the whole world is upside down, topsy-turvy. Yes. Don't know which way to go. Everything's just going. Uh -huh. Yes. In a way that seems to me, what in the world's happening? Would you agree? Amen. And so my wife and I began to look at this in a spiritual way and both of us have come to the conclusion that there is upon the earth, mainly attacking the church of the living God, a spirit of restlessness. All right, yes, All right. yes. A spirit of restlessness. For those of you that like to squirm, 
Can't sit still. You fidget. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm kind of in that boat. I don't know what it is to sit down in a chair more than five minutes before I got to get up. <laughs> there is a unclean spirit attacking the church of the living God. Amen. Yes. And it's causing unrest. All right. It's causing something within us to be restless. I spoke to Bishop Smith about this, and I thought we were going to have church, just him and I, outside of the ball field when they were playing ball. Amen. He could really see it in the folks that he pastors. Brother Palacios called me, and we talked some, and I began to share what my wife and I have come to realize that's happening, and many of you don't even realize it, why you may be restless. All right. And all of a sudden, he got quiet. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm boring him. <laughs> this great man of God. I, I'm boring him with what I'm thinking. He, you know, I said, Brother Plusses, are you still there? Are you still, Hello? Can you hear me now? <laughs> he says, I'm here. Uncle, I'm here. I was just thinking when you were saying this, of all the people in my church that just came to my mind, when you begin to talk about this restless, unclean spirit. All right, all right. So I want to try to help us today to encourage us to be earthquake proof. Amen, yes. That I'm going to be built in such a way, I'm going to be grounded and settled in such a way Amen. that no matter what outside force comes my way, no matter what circumstances look at me in the eye, I am not going to be damaged I'm not going to be destroyed and I'm not going to be moved. Too many people, you know what I'm talking about. They seem like they're fine and then a week later, i got to do something. Why? All right. You know, and if you're not careful, you're going to do something right out of the kingdom of God. No, I'm not saying there's not time to do things for the kingdom, but you know what I'm saying when I say, I mean, it really has nothing to do with the kingdom. You just can't stay still. All right. Although the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. Yes. I thought Moses said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yes. I want to say it again and I want this restless spirit to hear. I'm fighting for you to have peace yes. and settlement in your soul this morning. Yes. God has brought you to a place that truth is preached. The spirit of God is moving. It's evident in our worship. There is no need for you to get restless in your spirit. I don't care if you're having a bad day or a bad, bad day. I don't care if you're having a bad year. Be earthquake proof. Build according to the code of the word of God. And then when the winds blow, it won't affect you. And when that tornado comes, it won't affect you. When that earthquake shakes, it won't affect you. Even though a thousand on your left hand may be falling or your right hand, excuse me, and 10,000 on your left, it shall not come not to my dwelling. Now many of you, you're saying, Pastor, I already am set. I'm already got peace and contentment where God has placed me and what God is doing in my life and I'm glad to hear that. So now be forewarned. Amen. Amen. Yes. Services sometimes, we should never try to rape them, but we do. All right. Yes. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. If we had a scale one to ten, you would rape them. You don't mean to, but you talk to somebody the next day. Boy, Pastor was sure preaching yesterday. We had an awesome service. <laughs> Number ten. A week later. Well, because you don't say anything, so people ask you, well, how was your service? Well, it was good. All right, all right. You know what I'm telling you? There are times that you come to church and you're just saying, wow, the Holy Ghost is here. All right. And the next time you come to church, well, yeah, I, I see God moving there and over there. And I know the Bible tells me He's here, but I'm fighting wonderment. All right. All right. Wonder whether he really is or not. Right. I know some of you have been there. Amen. We shouldn't do that. 
Right. We need to be earthquake proof. Amen. Because it doesn't matter what type of move God is moving at the moment. Yes. We are in His presence. The Word yes. of God tells us that. We have gathered in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, He is in the very midst of us. So I don't need to feel Him. I don't need to see a manifestation to know that He is here. And He is the master builder. And He wants to build me. Maybe, maybe He's just testing me in the calm of a storm. Or the storm before the calm. However you want to look at it. All right. Okay, pastor's not really on today. He's not in the zone. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, I like that word. I like being in the zone. Amen. I like it being in the Holy Ghost zone. Amen. I like being in the wet zone. Yes. Amen. I do. I like being in the wet zone. Splash me, Lord. Amen. Wet me with that living water, God. Where sometimes it's not flowing like I'd like it to flow. There are times where I'm just struggling for words to say. There are times that, I'm going to just be honest with you, there's times that I'm just stirring things up, uh, trying to get where I need to be so I can really know and feel the Holy Ghost. And I'm just, if, if I want to be transparent, I'm making myself worship the Lord. But what's wrong with that? That proves to me if I'm going and I'm worshiping, I'm not going through the motion, I'm worshiping God with what energy that I have. Yeah. Evidently, I'm built right. Yeah. Evidently, the inspector came out, looked at all of the building and gave me a green sticker and said, go ahead. Everything looks to be in order. I don't know about you, but I want to be built right. I want to be on the right foundation. I want to be in the right place. Everybody that is here He's here for a reason. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Maybe, now you may not like to look at it this way, but maybe you're a doorknob. All right, amen. Yes. How can you lock the door without a doorknob? Amen. How can you open it to get out if God wanted us to go out and come in? Didn't you say go out and come in? Yes. So maybe you're that doorknob. Amen. Maybe... Maybe you're just that actual window. Maybe your wall that's been missing and the enemy been coming in and buffeting and, and doing things. Maybe God said, well, you know, i got to beef up that wall. There's, there's a hole there, so I'm going to bring in this sheetrock patch. Maybe you're just a patch. Oh, don't get offended at that. God, if you want me to be a patch, I'll be a patch. and he took them all off and made me whole. So maybe you're the patch to make us whole. Maybe you're the one that will come and complete us. Maybe you're the one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It doesn't matter what you think of yourself. It doesn't matter the resources you have. It doesn't matter the education. If you let God use you and place you in the body where it pleases Him, then God can make us whole. Some of you probably had the experience of being in an earthquake. I never had. And I don't want to be. Amen. But if I am, I want to be in a place that's earthquake proof. All right. Yes. Yes. Oh, you, I do. Amen. I don't want to be in a car running up and down the road because I'm restless. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. I want to be, you know, got a lot of stickers right now in certain places and they're good. It says safe zone. For children. And before y'all were born, they used to have a little symbol, you know, civil defense. It was a place you could go in case there was a. Yeah. All right. Yep. Thank you. So, you with me? You tracking with me? Like the military would say, that's for Brother Arkansas back there. You tracking? All right. All right. You know, we, we drive around town, we see a building, we see that, then we know that if the if the siren went off, you know, on our radio, because we didn't have cell phones in. Right, right. We didn't have even computers that I knew of. It was a bomb shelter so that we could go and be safe. That if some outside force began to drop bombs on us, nuclear in fact, then I knew where to go. Do you know where to go? All right. Have you seen the sign? Have you seen the symbol? The sign is the name of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm talking about?
talking about you dealt with it. I just got to make a change. I don't know why I got to make a change. I just got to make a change. I, I'm restless. It could be as simple as something in your own home. You know, let me just go there. All right. You got a beautiful picture. It's beautiful. Been there a week. All of a sudden, you're tired of looking at it. I got to make a change. Wait a minute, what's wrong with it? It was okay there when I placed it. That's right. I'm not saying there's not time to make changes, so don't go there. But what I'm trying to get at is sometimes we do things in our own home because we're restless. All yes. right. Yes. 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 Amen. We do things in our own life. Who I could go somewhere here. Lord, can I go somewhere here? Amen. <sighs> Maybe looking places you shouldn't be looking. Uh, all right. I mean, they were okay when you said I do. Uh, oh. Jesus. Parents were, were all right a year ago. What's wrong with them now? Uh, all right. Oh, you're not getting your way? Well, don't be so restless. Just wait. All right. Maybe get built right. Amen. Yes. It's amazing how easy things go when you follow the Amen. Amen. Yes. I don't have to worry about the inspector come out if I'm following the code. Amen. When we, yes. all of us that was working here, when we built the extension, we tried to do everything by the plans and the inspectors come out, they say we need this, and I learned real quick when I was in the fire department as farmer, you don't argue with those of authority. All right, amen. They say they want this, you say, yes, we'll get it done. We can't come back. Yes, amen. Because if you argue too much with those in authority, they'll be finding something else amen. for you to do. Amen. Even if you knew, and I knew the inspector. I used to make inspections with him. Uh, so when he came out, you know, if I'm not careful, I thought, okay, this is going to be easy. So I was telling I don't know if he even works here anymore, but his name is Bruce. And so we used to do a lot of things together. He's not there, Brother Lewis said, but he was at the time. So when Bruce came out, I'm thinking, okay, hey, it's Bruce, yeah. <laughs> be careful. Just because you know someone doesn't mean you don't have to follow the code. That's right. Amen. Yes. Yes. This restless spirit, his main objective is to get the church of the living God unsettled. Amen. So visions can't be completed. That's right. Because if you're not careful, you're restless. But what's happening is that this spirit, because of you and I, and how we're allowing it to affect us, now it's affecting the world. Its objective is not the world. They're already in trouble. The objective is to get us second-guessing. Yes, yes. Rethinking. All right. Thinking down and saying, okay, should I do this or should I not? When you knew a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, that wasn't the will of God. It wasn't in the code book. You couldn't find it there. Don't make it. Don't make it up. Let me tell you something. And a lot of you, you could care less about what I'm saying, but it's, it's something I'm trying to explain to you. You see, building codes are always changing. They're always changing. Right. She's are always adopting new codes. So, hey, a builder, a contractor's got it down and he's not keeping up and he's doing it just like code and the next day, you know, the inspector comes out, oh, we're no longer in the 2004 building code. We just adopted the 2016. All right. Oh, really? You see, if we're not careful in our restless spirit, we'll think that the Word of God is a new code. When it's not going to be a new code. Right. Its Amen. code will never change. Yes. Amen. Amen. It will never change. There will be never a new addition. And so, 
How are you building your life? Amen. You think, well, there's no earthquakes in Texas. I'm okay. Well, didn't they just have some earthquakes on the East Coast somewhere that they never had them before? Right, right. Sinkholes. You never used to have them before. But the more we drill in the earth, right. the more sinkholes is going to come about. <laughs> so there's no telling, even in Texas. All right. When an earthquake may just happen, you're not earthquake proof. All right. Yes. This morning, I'm working very diligent at preaching this message with a heart of encouragement. I don't want to dwell on the negative this morning. I understand that people will do what they choose to do. But it breaks my heart when they're outside the code. Right. It breaks my heart when their building is no longer earthquake proof. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. When they're open and vulnerable to the attacks of an outside force. If you study the Word of God, you'll find that Lucifer and his fallen angels go to and fro. That's right. They're restless. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. They are constantly either walking or in dry places or causing those that may they may influence or possess to become restless and wander. So if you are restless and wandering in your mind, it is a spirit. Amen. Yes. I want to say it again. All of you that are here, God has placed you. Amen. Be settled with it. Yes. In the services that are 10. Oh, did I hear somebody say all our services are 10? Praise God. Or if our service is a one, my God is still a 10 no matter what kind of service I've got. My God is still on the throne. My God is still my foundation. My God. And you want to get down to it? He's greater than. Yes. To go to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. Right, yes. I'm going to say it again. If you're here, God intended you to stay. Amen. It even tells us that in Matthew 12, 43, when the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, finding none. Wow. The man of the tombs, the lad with the devil. I could go on and on and on and on. Right. Do you know that in the scripture, in the book of Acts, there were even Jews called vagabonds. You know what vagabond means? Wanderers. All right. But they were Jews. But they were wanderers. I'm an apostolic. Hello. You no, know, I'm not supposed to be. Right. Right. A wanderer. Settled, grounded, unmovable. Amen. Stable. Yes. And they wandered. All over the place. You know what they were doing? Trying to cast out devils. All right. <laughs> well, they came to a place. Right. It says there were seven sons of Seba. Right beneath, there were vagabond Jews. And they found this person possessed. And so they went in to help that man. But because they were wanderers, they couldn't. Right, right. I'm telling you, that was a good point. You want to help yourself. You want to help your family. You want to help someone else. But if you're restless, you can't. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. And they went in there, and they had heard about Paul. Right. And Paul was seven. Yes. I think he wrote many times. Be settled. Grounded. Be not moved away from the gospel. Amen. All right. Come on now. Stay with me. Now, he was restless before he got Converted. Right. Because he was going all over the place trying to kill Christians and put them in prison. God said, that's enough. Get settled. Right. Right. Some of you are thinking too much about your life right now. And you need to come on with you. 
And they went in there. They heard about the power of Paul. They heard about what he was doing in the name of Jesus Christ. And do you know, because they were wanderers, they couldn't even use the name of Jesus themselves. If you read the scripture, they said, I adjure you to come out of him in the name of Jesus whom Paul preached. You see, when you become restless, when you become a wanderer, you can't even use the name of Jesus Christ with authority. When you get settled, when you get built, when you get a code, a code of the word of God in you, then you don't have to say, I adjure you on Pastor White in the name of Jesus who he preaches. Oh no, I adjure you in the name of Jesus Christ. out to really yes. take everything you got and then embarrass. Right. Right. <coughs> embarrass. Yeah. So not only did that spirit jump, right. Right. you know, that, that's another sermon right there. Uh -huh. <sighs> to think that a restless spirit could jump on me. <laughs> I mean, if I read the scripture, you scholars see me after, but it says it jumped on and just started, was whooping on Right, right. Yeah. That tells me that unrest spirit jumped on them. Yeah. Sounds like to me that an unrest spirit actually touched them. Right. They just didn't feel it. He put his hands on them. Uh -huh. And he whooped them. And then he took their clothes. All right. All right. Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's right. And they had to leave these vagabond wandered Jews. I think the next time I face the Spirit, I better be settled. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I better not use the name as somebody else uses it. Yeah. I better know the name myself. Because yeah. the Spirit said, listen, Paul, I know, Jesus, I know, but who are you wanderers? Yes, that's right. Yes. Who are you that are restless? I don't know you. I don't know you. Ah, but I know them that are solid. I know them that are settled. Jesus, but I don't know any restless Christian. I don't know any vagabond Jews. I don't know anybody that's going to and fro. But those that are settled, look out, devil. Maybe that's why the devil has not ever physically touched me. Because he knows me. Unrest spirits actually grabbing you physically. Now I got proof. Wow. Let me try to get to a place that I can close with Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee because he not trusted. Restless, not restless. To and fro on the Lord. Stay. Stay on thee because he trusted in thee. Wow. Second Timothy chapter 4 verses 2 through 4 says, Preach the word. Preach the code. Be instant in season. You Alex see, that's why preachers teach and preach. And sometimes you say, why are you saying that? I already know that. I want you to know the code yes. inside yes. out. Yes. There should be no question how to build. the word be in, in season and out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all suffering and Doctrine. or code <clears throat> for the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine or sound code right. but after their own lust shall they heap to after their own lust uh -huh. shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching right. ears now all right. all right now let me get first you ever had an itch yes I mean a real itch. Not just, I'm talking about an itch. You talk about squirming and being restless. You talk about can't be settled. You haven't had an itch. I've had some itches. I'm being transparent. So all of you have never been itchless. But me, I've had some itches. All right. And sometimes it gets pretty embarrassing. Thank you, 
Sister Hernandez, me and you, we're, we're going to preach together here. You're in a crowd, you're someplace, you know. And you're thinking, how can I scratch this itch? No one's talking about me now. That's why, that's why animals sometimes even do this. Sit still while the preacher's preaching because you got an itch. <laughs> it is hard because all you're thinking about. Oh, you been there? Oh, well, we learning things about us. Where's that kind of mind lotion? Like that's really going to take away the itch. It may for a few minutes. And then we scratch it off. Parents, don't don't scratch that. That's what pastors are saying right now to you. All right. Quit scratching your itch. All right. Let it go away. Understand, the next time you begin to feel an itch or a restlessness, recognize it. Amen. And do something about it quickly. Yes. Because I don't know about any of you, but if an itch is not taken care of quickly, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So truly watch. Nip it in the bud. Amen. Get rid of the itch. Time will come where they will not endure sound code. But will heap to themselves teachers. Having itchy ears. If you stand this morning, earthquake proof. Amen. That's what I want to be. Yes. I'd love to be so built that poison ivy or poison oak would have no effect on me. Amen. That a fire ant or a mound of fire ants wouldn't even try to bite me. I want to be so grounded, so beautiful, so secure, so steadfast, that nothing that I may encounter will open the door to a restless, itching Amen. spirit.